well so so we have here um the the document prepared and the first thing we're um, going to to do is adding uh, the text so I'm aligning it to the center to the middle um, we're going to create two files um, two text uh, files and we're going to work in the first one um, we're going just uh, to add blending options or uh, styles to to it um, this one and struck uh, here in the first uh, style we're going to change the teeth to something like 164 percent and in the size um, it is uh, five, uh, five pixels well um, we're going here to shading and we're going to remove this option use global light and changing the, the angle to 90 fine um, we're going here to glass contour and we're going to choose this one the fourth one uh, the fourth um, option so then of this um, we're going to change the opacity to the white color or the, the highlight um, or the most uh, or the, the highlight mode to 100% and the shadow mode to zero. This is kind of important uh, having not darkness here because uh, it, it's going to look um, it's going to look uh, like that, like this. So we're going to uh, to stroke uh, here. We're going to change this to six pixels, and it's very important having uh, the same color as the as the text. That's everything for this uh, layer, and we're going to um, to work on the second layer. Uh, here, um, we're going to add a stroke, and we're going to add a drop shadow too. Um, at this point, uh, we're going to change the size, uh, changing the color too. It's going to be white. It's uh, kind of important for this effect. Um, the distance uh, to four, um, 40 pixels, the size zero, and the opacity uh, we're going to use in 20%. Uh, we're going to remove usual, use global light and change it to 90 in the 90. This uh, is going to be the angle. Uh, that's everything for styles. And we're going to to use it the type uh, the recent tool uh, the type tool and doing right click uh, going here to warp text in the style we're going to change it uh, to um, something like shield lower something like this with this uh, with these properties and the same thing for the first layer the same same thing right click and warp text and in the style we're going to change it to shell or lower okay something like this so that's everything for this video and see you in the next